What's up YouTube, Zach here, and I wanted to do a little overview and uh, review of this uh, Civivi Sentinel Strike. It's a pretty nice one coming out of Civivi. Um, this is like my second folding knife I've gotten from them, and uh, I've got to say I'm pretty impressed. Got an aluminum button lock here with a uh, FRN, I think, backspacer on it, kind of giving it that integral feel and look. Um, the box comes with your, uh, you know, normal goodies you get with Civivi products. Got your stickers and your cloth and your nice soft pouch. <clears throat> Good stuff. Um, so the knife, yeah. So I don't own any titanium framed folding knives, but the way this is kind of bead blasted, the silver... And it comes in a few different colors, but I just wanted to go with the the bead blast silver handle here um, with the stone wash blade. It's got a nice utility shape to the blade, nice little worn cliff. Um, yeah, the aluminum just feels super high quality on this. It just gives the whole thing a really premium feel. I can kind of pretend I have a titanium knife, not really, but it fe it just feels so much higher quality than like a uh, a G10 and steel lined or even a steel frame lock or something like that and it's fairly lightweight um, for the size of the knife this is a pretty big knife um, let's see so overall length about eight and a half inches um, cutting cutting edge length or about three inch three inches from the cutting edge to the tip of the knife and about f almost four inches for the blade length in total um, it's got a nice deep carry pocket clip pocket clip it's real easy to get in and out of the pocket just slides in real nice doesn't hang up or anything real uh, not too tight of a tension on there the, the action is just hydraulic smooth it is so good it just drops if you let the button out and uh, before it drops all the way, it just slides shut. But yeah, you got a. There's an opening hole here in the back. You can flick that open. Thumb stud, flipper, button lock. You can open it so many different ways. Um, don't get caught fidgeting with this thing out in public because you're going to annoy somebody. But it's really easy to do, it'll get away from you flicking that shit open it gets loud too because of the aluminum handle and everything but uh yeah just super it comes in under four ounces i'm pretty sure um one thing i would like is maybe these thumb studs weren't here i don't know if you can remove them or not but they're not a big deal they just make it a little busy um so yeah i think this is going for i think i got mine for around shoot damn i don't even remember the price I'll try to put it in the description what the price was, but it was definitely under $100, maybe around the $90 point um, from Blade HQ. Um, super, so the steel is K110. Uh, it says on there. It's very hard to read, but it says K110 on there. Um, yeah, uh, from my experience with uh, some petrified fish knives in K110, you really got to keep it oiled. I feel like it's a little less stainless than D2. Um, but it definitely has excellent edge retention, especially with Civivi's heat treat. Um, I've stropped this once in the two weeks I've been using it, and I've been cutting boxes every day at work. Um, and it's still sh popping hairs off my arm. So, really good ed factory edge on there. Looks even better now because I stropped it a few times. Compound kind of shined it up a little bit. Yeah, really nice stonewash finish on there just absolutely no blade play just super high quality um if you're eyeing this one i'd say go for it that frn i mean people complain about plastic being on their knives but it's a really tough material it doesn't it doesn't make the knife feel cheap in any way it's got a nice frag pattern to it i'd say just go for it if uh, you're looking for something under 100 bucks you like the look of this it'll feel just as good so there you go Civivi Sentinel Strike, about an 8 out of 10 for me. Go ahead and pick one up. See you later.